Okay, friends, what's up? Look, many people are dealing with digestive disorders, heartburn, acid reflux, indigestion, and it's so common. We, how many times have we seen somebody, maybe you've done it yourself, popping Tums like they're going out of style and just taking these medication to deal with acid reflux when the problem, the problem is not, <laughs> the, 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 the problem with actually taking medication and taking things to help with acid reflux is that it's not addressing the root cause, okay? It is more masking the symptom. It's like that whack-a-mole game that you see at an arcade game, maybe you have kids and you've seen your kids play it. It's like whacking a mole, take care of that mole, and another mole pops up. It's never going to help you get to the cause. Now the cause is an overworked digestive system. We have been overworking our digestive system like never before. I mean, think about it. We have breakfast, snack, lunch, snack, dinner, dessert, and then maybe some more snacks in between. I mean, the average American eats 17 to 21 times per day. They are not sitting down at a table 17 to 21 times a day, but they are eating and stimulating insulin and glucose 17 to 21 times per day. Think about the almonds, the kombucha, the protein bar, the yogurt. Every time you do that, you have to, your, your digestive system has to process that food. So you take all this energy and resources away from repairing the digestive system to digesting food. So think about it this way. It's like somebody who works a nine to five job and they've been working nine to five uh, at this corporate job and they put in a full day's work and it's 5 p.m. They're walking to their car, thinking about going home and resting and watching Netflix or reading a book and they get a call from their boss who needs you to come back in and work another four hours on a project. So this person goes back to its job, his job, and he works four more hours and now it's 9 p.m. at night and he's exhausted and he's going to his car again, ready to just go home and get to sleep and he gets that same phone call from his boss who needs you to come in and work another four hours. Imagine this happening for months and months and even years. This is the same thing with people's digestive system. If they're not practicing intermittent fasting, they are overworking their digestive system. It takes about 14 hours, studies show. Dr. Zach Bush, he put students uh, through this study, these college students, and he gave them a standard American diet, which was pizza in the form of 900 calories. And they tracked how long it took from processing that food out the colon, 14 hours. That means if they ate pizza at 8 p.m. at night and it's 8 a.m. the next morning, they're still processing that food. So we wanna make sure we're giving our digestive system a break. When you do that, the acid reflux, the symptoms, the indigestion, whatever it is, diarrhea, the symptoms go away because you're addressing the cause. There's always a cause, there's always an effect. So I'm gonna give you a little protocol here if you're dealing with acid reflux or just any digestive disorder, follow this protocol and it's gonna help you big time. Before I get into that real quick, I'm gonna see if there's any comments on here. I wanna say hello to anybody on here. Uh, hello, Instagram, Joshua, Norleza, DeBerno, hello to you all. Uh, we have Valentino and anybody else on Facebook, hello. Thank you so much for joining today. Hope you're having an amazing Monday. I sure am, I'm getting a lot done today. I'm here at Keto Camp HQ. Now, step number one would be to do some intermittent fasting. Go at least 12 hours without food so your body's not using resources to digest food and it's gonna use those resources to repair your digestive system. So that means if your last meal's at 8 p.m., don't eat anything to at least 8 a.m. and then push that, keep pushing that if you can till 12 p.m. So if you can do a 16 hour fast consistently because you've been doing keto and you're fat adapted, which is the right way to do it before you fast, then you're gonna really repair your gut. Throw in things like this, one to three um, tablespoons of lemon juice with water. You can do that first thing in the morning or have it throughout the day. And you wanna also include one to three tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. Those are, that's a good one-two punch to help with acid reflux. You wanna also avoid bone broth. I love bone broth, but it might flare up acid reflux and also pickle juice. These are two common foods that I see on the keto diet and rightfully so, because they're both great. However, if you have acid reflux, it might flare it up. So I would eliminate these until you get better. Add in some apple cider vinegar, add in some lemon juice, do some fasting, get keto adapted. And I promise you, you do this and your body will start to heal itself because you're removing the interference, which is 
digesting all the time and your body will start to heal itself. The human body is remarkable. And if you could just remove the interference, it will heal itself. If you want to learn more about becoming keto adapted and doing some fasting, get my keto kickstart guide. If you go to keto kickstartguide.com, you can learn much, much more about my four pillar approach to burning fat instead of sugar. The second pillar in that approach is the fast pillar. So it'll teach you all about intermittent fasting, all of that will help heal the gut and get rid of acid reflux, get rid of anything you're dealing with when it comes to digestion. So make sure you get that book. And if you haven't done so already, go to youtube.com slash keto camp. That's camp with the K youtube.com slash keto camp and subscribe to my YouTube channel. It is the best resource that you can find on YouTube for all things intermittent fasting and all things keto diet. I want to thank you so much for your time and your energy and just being with me today on this Instagram and Facebook Live. I really, really, really appreciate you all. Have an amazing Monday. If there's anything I can do for you, please, I'm just a message away. I am open to answering any questions you send my way. So send them. I'm here for you. Have an amazing day.